Yo, what's up, guys? Just finished first place at Texas Regionals. 469 players with Nemesis Vanadium. The deck was cracked, undefeated. Uh, first place, I mean, you know, nine rounds, nine, eight, oh, one. Destroyed everyone. And the deck outperformed all my wildest imaginations. Going first, going second. And I think you need to play the Nemesis cards in it. I really do. I think the Nemesis cards were, were MVP by far. Going first or going second, that didn't matter. You search it with Banshee. I'll get into all the combos later. Insane. If you guys saw my other list where I finished first at Locals, my YCS list where I played 60 card, Sinful Spoils, Bestial, all that stuff. I cut the Bestials, I basically cut the fat, and now it's 52 cards, but just fire and just gas. With still a shit ton of go second cards. Zero hand traps. The hand traps are shit. Don't play hand traps. You're, you're negging yourself. Like, you're gonna start with five cards. Any generic six cards in my deck, I break any board with. I also won a PS5 with it too. Let's go. So we're gonna get straight to this video before we do. I wanna give a big shout out to myself for being the best player in the game. Secondly, for Team Inspired TCG for helping me come out here. Also for Dueling Guard, our sponsor, and my other sponsor, myself. I'll go to tripgaming.com and duelingguard.com, get cool deck box play mats, and get the Minadium Masterclass so you can also win regionals. All right, let's go. Let's get straight into it. First things first, Nemesis Fog, Nemesis Skados. You go for it first. When you go first, you don't main rep or docus. You don't blind call anything. They're just extenders going first. This recycles Astro Loud. You search it. It recycles Astro Loud. So now you have three Astro Louds, but you play two. And the Escados just sticks in your hand is the best follow up ever. When you go second, you search this at the very end. Escados machine. Nice rescue ace pussy deck. Destroy it. And even if you don't beat them that turn, they can't play next turn. And that's the whole idea going second. Allowing SP to be a bomb card now just because of this going second. You can always get it. And post side deck, you put in Reprodocus. So when you call, think of all the top, top decks, Purely, Fairy, Unchained, Fiend, Tier Limit, and shit. M Mirror Match Warrior, Infernoble Warrior, all this other stuff, like uh, Rescue Ass, you call Machine. Every deck, even uh, if you call Fairy for Runic uh, Bestial, they can't do shit. All these decks, Dragon, Dragon Link, destroys every single matchup by itself. All right, so that's the main part I want to talk about. The rest should be very straightforward. If you guys watch my videos, if you play less than these, your Bozo needs to play nine. For more reason that it's a rank four deck now, but for, I can't stress enough, nine, max. No matter what, if you're playing 40, you're not. Two Vices, again, you're, I'm playing Perlerino as well. You search it anytime you want. You don't need more, you have these, you search it. You, like, like, it's perfect, three me. Don't play Torrid or otherwise you're a Bozo. Fenrir, you need to play insane. He's 18, I don't need to discuss those 20. Next, my Sinful Spoils package. That is right. Souls is a Sinful Spoils card. Because you go Souls, send Black Witch, Cross Sheep, some shit, Dark, some shit, Selene. Selene, special this, get Jet out. Get Savage Dragon out. So Souls equals Black Witch. And then as far as, oh, what about Droll, bro? I got Drolled 100 times, not 100. At least five throughout the whole tournament. It's fine because you expect Droll to be the first card. You play in total, there's uh, five defensive cards, eight, 13 total, or 14 total defensive cards. So out of the 14 defensive cards, you're going to draw one or two, and you always make an SP, or no matter what. And depending on your hand, you suddenly make Baron and Savage as well, depending on what you have. So you always have two, three, four interrupts through Droll, so it's fine. But these allow you to play through it. You help make Savage Dragon with the Dive Star stuff. And because this is a quick play, if you get Droll, you just chain this, and are still guaranteed three summons. You're guaranteed a Savage Dragon versus Droll, and you're guaranteed another monster for SP. Plus the Fenrir, plus the Droplets, the Econs, so you're always insured of it. And Souls makes Selene and Axis Code insane. Like, it's a linked deck, you're not playing Manadium anymore. By playing these, you're playing a full-fledged combo deck, and because of all the free field spells you get, they're free ads. This always says free draw. This always says free summon. You never send from your hand, ever. You get the free value from the field spell, which you have a thousand of in rotation consistently. So 27 monsters, 25 spells. Yeah, the last, yeah. The field spell package. I cut right off to two. Just I want to cut as low as, I, I, I trimmed all the fat. I try to cut everything as low as possible. One last thing to mention. Sometimes, because you're siding in like eight to 10 board breakers, you side out the sinful spoils package quite a lot. So when you do, the reason why we play one Illusion of Chaos is for souls to still be able to send itself without having to remove all the souls. I know, I'm a genius. Make sure to play the one Illusion of Chaos. Post side, when you play around Droll, you essentially just remove search cards. 
And if you, you're keeping the block with stuff post side, going first, the player on Droll, so that's when you remove this, you remove one of each field spell, remove Rota, remove Terraforming, remove the spells. Post side going first. So you play these field spells with these one ups. Always keep terraforming post side no matter what, going second, because Thrust will get the terraforming to get the right off, to get the Fenrir, to get the scare cash to cook your opponent. In the finals, I was facing against three hand traps. Hand trap, hand, my Rumar got hand trap, my Lightheart got hand trap, some other shit got hand trapped, who knows? And then I'm sitting there, I'm like, Astraloud, banish from grave, pop my own Lightheart, special. My second V system Sora, thank God I play three, because I'm not a bozo. And then I make another light heart, right phobia, full combo, three hand traps, no problem. In the finals, in front of 50 people watching. Because it's a combo orientated deck, he has to stop all this other shit, and he has no chance. The duel, to be honest, is over before it even starts. Just due to the fact that we play the best deck. Uh, two arrival, one obsession. You don't need reframing. You don't need it at all, whatsoever. It's a brick. And he loses to Super Poly even more. Uh, two arrival is great, always keep it at two. You don't need more than one abscission. One abscission is fine. It's totally fine. Don't play bricks. And abscission loses to draw more. You don't need two. One's fine. If you want a side reframing, I guess. But you literally just nemesis lock their ass. Who gives a fuck about reframing? Okay. Now the defensive cards. Three droplet, three econ, two talents. Uh, you're playing 52. I try to cut it as much as possible. I try to make it even like 48, 49. But then the cards you remove, you will miss. By playing one black witch instead of two, you will miss... For, miss it for souls. Yes, I know you have Illusion of Chaos, but you side out the Illusion of Chaos, post side for Droll. Like you, you, a lot of the stuff you want to cut out, you're gonna miss. I'm gonna cut a right. Uh, imagine cutting right south to one. No, right south is literally the best card in the deck. Versus Droll, it guarantees you Fenrir. Going second, it guarantees you Fenrir plus full combo. On top of that, it's a free spell with your sinful stuff and your soul stuff. And you play in total, it's a lot. Like, it, like three, four. Like, like, like keep in mind how much you're gonna get. One second, let me pull these out. This is four. One second. Where are they? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like nine plus even this ten. So you play. You want full value for this. On top of that, any deck that plays sinful spoils, you dark their own sinful spoils. To, or sorry, you dark their their uh, black witch to special it to then get this to keep going. It's so important. And then you could dark crash to search souls. Like this whole, this package is why I won. Not Manadia. This is the best part of the whole deck. More than Nemesis. I can't stress this enough. I will never play this deck without these again. I cracked the, the format playing these. You need to play it. Like going undefeated. Uh, the first time I played this deck was yesterday. 5-0 at the uh, locals easily. And now today, undefeated in nine rounds at a big event with 470 players. Clearly it's something right. Like I didn't even do anything crazy. I just played the deck. I'm not even, I, I might be the best player in the game, yes, but I just played cards and they just won. My deck was just infinitely better than every other deck. So you don't even have to outplay your opponent. You just be a bozo and you'll still win. So Banshee, uh, you don't need to play Reprodocus because when you're going f go first, you just keep the uh, Escados in your hand and going second, your opponent already has a board to use it, but you side into the Reprodocus to, uh, for after. But yeah, two Lightheart, mandatory, mandatory. One SP is fine because you could uh, Dark, somehow equals a second SP because everyone's playing SP. So your dark can literally just summon their own SP. Congratulations, you have two now. So it's fine. And uh, there's some ways to recycle it, but I wouldn't consider them good ways. So it's fine, you don't need it, you're fine, it's fine. Cross Sheep, Selene, access Apoloza. Cross Sheep, dark, into uh, so any of the spellcasts into Selene, into these right away, it's so important. Like I can't stress this enough. This is how you play through hand traps. Where you go, Selene is the game changer of this deck. Where you no longer need, oh, I need room heart or I lose. Fuck room heart. I don't need that shit. The amount of times I, I, I ended with boards like Fenrir, uh, let's take a hand trap to fuck. My opponent has four cards left. No problem, fam. I end on Apoloza, and on SP, and on Fenrir, and end on any of the 10 defensive cards I have in my deck. They have four cards, they fucking lose. Without any like, actual Manadium combos. This is just playing Yu Gi Oh combos. So they're vital. Huge, big time, and I'm the pen god. Of course, I'm gonna play Selene. That's eight, nine, two Astrolabe, but you really play three because you can recycle it. So with Nemesis flying, you can recycle SP at times, but it'll be too late for that. Astrolabe's a lot easier to, the SP banishes Astrolabe, it's a lot easier to recycle it with Nemesis flying. Here's the synchros, six, eight, that's it. You're not playing Manadium. You don't need anything else. No Crimson Dragon, no Despite, that shit's dog shit. 
literal it's ass don't play that shit this mandatory 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 that's it you don't need more focus on links links is what makes us that if you don't want to play nemesis i would advise against it but if you don't want to it's okay you could remove this but this is how you win this is how you win that's it the links period can't trust it enough if i were to remove this it would not be for typhon typhon is very bad in this deck because the typhon is basically going to go on top of a baron or a savage dragon or a fenrir so you always lose your interruption in this deck typhon's not as good as it as it is in other decks i would highly advise to keep this side deck three thrust duster double storm double evenly anchor tops these nine go in in almost every single matchup completely and entirely except if there's specific matchup is bad against if you're facing against a literal doo-doo deck don't play evenly just otk their ass that's literally the reasoning to otk their ass these nine and then herald against heavy combo you also put a herald of the abyss of course it's mainly for purely for these four but against heavy combo you still put this in because any combination of these with this is insanely powerful where you get rid of the baron and then evenly the board so it still counts as a board breaker and against shitter decks if you don't want to side too much you could do something like one of each to have them all as thrust targets and put in a called by because going second if you're facing a big ass board like let's say they have legit like six negates and droll you already lost you're not beating six negates and droll you're not beating droll normally going second but on top of six negates you can't there's ways to play around droll such as droplets right after you search or don't like try to otk but it don't focus too much on it. And if you have to face a whole board and it, that's like sometimes quit putting called by post side. 20 second is not the best for heavy combo. But against mid-range decks, always put it in. And against mid-range decks, always put in one of these going second as well. Uh, any D-Barrier. If D-Barrier solos the deck, not this. If D-Barrier solos the deck and you're playing a mid-range deck, the only way you lose is Droll. It whatsoever. So always put D-Barrier going second against every mid-range deck that hard loses to this card. Every one of them. Purely, you know, any synchro deck, any tier limit for fusion, legit anything. anything. So if you do get drolled, you just thrust the D-Barrier, you put up some half-assed boards so you don't die, D-Barrier them, and then you kill them on your follow-up. And uh, when you're going first now, you always put these in. If one of these is shit against the deck, okay, you just don't put it in. Always put these in and you remove six search spells. Vital. Six search spells, or like Illusion of Chaos, or anything that searches. Now when your opponent drolls you, you always, look, always end on three interruptions, always. So you did with five cards and they have, they have five cards, you have three interruptions, you're fine. You still win. I've won countless games when I got drilled. And then Reprodocus for going first and Cowboy just because it's my ace card. And that's the deck. The deck was absolutely insane. There was not a single time when I was fearful of losing. I knew every single time I was going to win. And I was a little disappointed I didn't 2-0 everyone. I 2 0 most people. That's it for the video. If you guys got this far, make sure to check out the Dueling Guard as, dot com down below as well as TripGaming.com to get your cool deck box. Check out my Manadium training and shout out to Team Aspire TCG and uh, myself for being the best player in the game. See you guys.